Joseph was rejected by his brothers. His brothers represented the 12 tribes of Israel. They threw him in a pit. A Judah, whose name is Judas, hatched the plan to sell him. The Gentiles, sound familiar? He was a picture of Jesus. He rises to the right hand of power in Egypt. He feeds bread to the world. Does that make sense? Jesus was rejected. He rises to the right hand of the Father, and he gives the bread of life to all of us. And guess what? He later revealed himself to his brothers, and there was great weeping. In Zechariah chapter 12, it says that the Messiah, Yahweh, will reveal himself to those who pierced him, even as Joseph was pierced, even as Jesus was pierced. Jesus will come back, and it says, every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And Zechariah 12 says that they'll mourn for him whom they pierced, and they'll weep, and they'll repent, and a fount of cleansing will be opened to them. Thus, all Israel, all those who truly turn to the Messiah, will be converted if they turn to Christ, and all those that turn to Christ will make up true Israel, along with the Gentile believers who will not be Israel, but with Israel will go into God's kingdom together as one bride forever and ever. That's God's plan. Make sure that you're born again so you can become a true child of God. Don't make it about race. It's all about grace. Don't make it about skin. It's about sin and needing God's grace to be saved from that sin. In Jesus' name.